Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, code snippets from our website tutorial. So first, uh, we have our dummy website here. Well, we need to go to the actual website tutorial. That's found at website tutorial com forward slash resources.html. If you're already here, you can just scroll down and we have our code snippets section. And today we're going to show you how to uh, insert the bootstrap cards. So what you do is you need to download the free snippet. Uh, there's no charge for this and uh, it's a zip file. So you just download the zip file to your uh, computer. I'll put it on the desktop. And then let's extract it. And now what we have is our bootstrap cards HTML and we have the CSS file. Now to open these two files, what you need to do is right click or somehow bring up the contextual menu or you could just open the text editor itself and then open it from there. But you need a text editor, something like Notepad. I like Notepad++, which you can download for free. Uh, I could also use Atom, which is a little bit stronger and more powerful code editor. Um, anything that opens up plain text files will be okay. So I'm going to use Notepad++ today. And now we have our HTML here. So there are three cards. This is one card, second card, third card. And these are in a row. So this is one column, two columns, three columns. And then they're wrapped in a section, uh, a section container that's fluid. So it's going to go all the way across the page. And the ID of that section is called cards. So this is the HTML that we need. So let's just highlight the HTML. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to go back to our MobiRise website. I'm assuming that you have the code editor purchased and it's available inside of MobiRise for you. If not, you need to go to the extensions and themes and purchase the code editor uh, extension. So once we're here, let's find a place inside of our uh, inside of our web page to be able to put it. I'm going to put it right here. So what we need to do is open a new block. And at the very bottom, if you have the code editor, you'll see that there's now an HTML block. So you just grab this and put it in like any other block of code. And we can either click here to show the editor or we can click here to edit the code in the little blue button. And so now you can see we have our code editor. And we put our HTML up here and we put our CSS down here. So this is something that we don't need. And we also don't need this, so let's get rid of it. And remember the HTML code that we copied before, all we have to do is paste that here. So now this is the same uh, three cards across, and it's pasted in. We can check that by previewing. And you can see that our cards have come up, but they're not styled. So we have to get our CSS in order to give them the right styles. So let's save and close for now. And we'll go back to the folder. And we just did the HTML. Now we will get the code from the CSS. So we go through the same process as opening it up in text in a text editor. This is our CSS. We just need to copy all of that code. Go back to MobiRise. And we can click here, remember, on our block. And now we have our CSS editor, and we just paste our CSS there, and then now let's check it with the preview. And you can see now that with our CSS tied to the HTML, we have our three cards. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save it. And then now you can see that we have the three cards. They each have a, uh, an icon with a circle. We have card title. We have our card text, and we have this nice little... Uh, button with a little material hover on it. So that is how you take <clears throat> that's how you take uh, the HTML snippets.
from uh, the website tutorial website and you get them into Moby Rise. And now from here, when you go inside, you can make changes or adjustments to the HTML or the CSS. So you obviously don't want something called card title. You want your own title and your own text. And maybe you even want us to change out um, some of the icons or some of the colors. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email me. Uh, my email is brian, B-R-I-A-N, at highwaywebconsulting.com. Or you can also leave a message down in the uh, our new little chat window uh, at the bottom right of the screen. So if you have any questions, you can just leave me a message, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.